basketball fans welcome back so today we'll be having the equity hawks versus the reg women's team facing off in the last game of the day this game will, will uh, be at 2200 hours that's uh, 10 p.m where i'm at and uh yeah man so as promised i said i'm going to do a match review for these two teams because this is actually one of the toughest tests that the equity bank have to face and the actually actually the one thing i want to mention is reg and equity they met in the zone 5 championships and reg beat uh, the equity hawks in the semis 76 61 as you can see there and both teams have played two games and both teams um have just shown like they can they can be able to you know uh play together and i feel like uh different teams yield different results as you can see reg are just uh shooting from the top for the top uh they made some two key transactions they had two wnba players join the roster and that has made them uh quite one of the, i can even say the favorites of this contest and even going even into the head-to-head -head matchups you're seeing the equity hawks uh they had a very piss poor performance against interclub uh, they beat Aspark yesterday, even covered it on this channel, uh, talking about their performance in there. And given those situations, you can even see the REG team, they also played two games. They had that game they played against, um, they, they had two games in there, they played against Interclub, then they played against the another team in there, and or, or they played against um, Overdose Up. I believe it's overdose up yeah so you can even see them in the group and they're topping the group right now you can see they have two wins zero losses interclub one win one loss and this loss came at the hands of reg equity bank they lost to interclub so that win from interclub comes from the equity hawks as back i had to win a game then the then there's, there's, there's the overdose up station so so the reg team they blew out overdose yeah they overdose up they beat them 86 45 to open up then the game that where they were tested i can see this is the game that uh showed that reg can be able to like play at that level because interclub this is a team that made the africa africa women's cup finals last year and they were a team to they are that team that brought the heat but in this case you're talking about equity versus reg so reg beat the equity hawks in the semis to make it to the finals and equity hawks they had to settle for third place when they beat uh, a ugandan team in there but that's not that's not here or there but looking at even the head-to-head -head stats you could see uh, the equity hawks they don't shoot well from the from, from the field and this is coming from these uh stats are coming even from like the way they perform poorly in the interclub game so they had a stats drop there 48% on 2.4 goals, 28% from deep, and 63% from the line. So you can see off the bat, statistically on paper, REG just beat the equity hawks in there. And even in the defensive rebounds, offensive rebounds, you could see as much as uh, both teams are like neck, neck and neck in there, it's just like a even competition because REG have the size and they are elite and they have an elite team in there. And their team is just quite solid. You can't, uh, you can't just compare Equity and REG like that because you can see the quality that is on the roster. Then even in the key stats, you could see um, REG are just get they just get the nod when it comes to points from turnovers, fast break points, second chance points. You can see that uh, they trail to they trail to the Equity Hawks, but points in the paint uh, majority of the time I've seen a lot of points that reg are getting of course they are driving inside but also they get the occasional three but majority of them they are able to utilize them inside shots pretty well our bench got involved especially in the in this game the game in the equity hawks game they play against aspark and yeah i mean they, they have been there they have tried to like have a bounce back you know game the equity hawks they suffered like they suffered they had a hellish game against interclub where they got brutally exposed and this is the game that um, i can say uh, kind of shook them a lot and and not to mention like even like the way like they looked in that game they looked like a very below average team 
and the Inter Club team just showed the blueprint on how to beat the Equity Hawks with that high press. And given like uh, those limitations that the Equity Hawks had, they tried to bounce back against the Aspark team. I don't feel like Aspark are that of a threat because in one game that they have played, they have uh, they, they got beat by the Equity Hawks and they didn't look like a threat in there and they got beat in there. So, so looking at the Equity Hawks, they have not been tested. A team like REG, they, their first game, I can say they overdose up team was a weak team, and I don't see that as a, you know, as a threat in, in, in how they are played. But if you look at the interclub game, this is the game that shows like they have what it takes to be able to compete. And this was actually one of the hardest games I've seen because you can see REG number one and interclub number two. So in this group B, I feel like these are the two teams that can go the distance and be able to like show like you know they can pull each other's weight but the equity hawks i don't think they have a chance in this game and i picked the reg to the reg women's team to beat the equity hawks in convincing fashion i don't think that they have the ability to beat them so yeah that's just the tale of the tape in there statistically and considering the fact that the reg team have a mental advantage towards the equity hawks considering the fact that they beat them in the semis i don't think um if the equity hawks stand a chance in this game this is the last game of the day so i'll just be waiting patiently for it and uh, with my analysis and commentary uh i will analyze the game as usual on this channel so please be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell so that you get notified and um i'm out peace